Oh, there you are. Oh, sorry, you must have made a mistake. No, you haven't. You're just late. Oh? Actually, I think we'd be very pleased with you. Really? Yes, you're quite a feather in the cap. Hello? I've got one. Oh, I think so. Yes, he can talk. No, well, I think you ought to see him. Yes, all right. Come on. Sorry. You don't see many of these nowadays, do you? Oh, not very really bad. Turn around, Chief Bailey. Oh, yes, he's a definite boss. He'll look good alongside Susan. All right, Sammy Jim, this is all going to be quite famous. Don't breathe on me, Adrian. I'm terribly sorry, but there seems to be some sort of misunderstanding. Well, you can come off it with us. You don't have to do all the old anonoidal glottal stuff and carry on for our benefit. I'm afraid I don't understand. Oh, my God, he's a natural. Well, I did tell him not to send his real ones. We ought to know by now. The phone is a much easier to handle. Still, he's a good type. We'd like you to give us your opinion on some clothes for teenagers. Oh, by all means. I'd be quite prepared for that eventuality. Well, not your real opinion, naturally. It'll be written out and you'll learn it. Can you read? Of course I can. I mean lines, Ducky. Can you handle lines? Well, I'll have a bash. Good. Give him whatever it is they drink. A coca A Well, at least he's polite. Show him the shirts, Adrian. Now, you'll like these. You'll really dig them, that tab and all the other pimply hyperboles. I wouldn't be seen dead in them. The dead grotty. Grotty? Yeah, grotesque. Make a note of that word and give it to Susan. It's rather touching, really. Here's this kid trying to give me his utterly valueless opinion when I know for a fact that within a month he'll be suffering from a violent inferiority complex and loss of status because he isn't wearing one of these nasty things. Of course, they're grotty, you wretched nit. That's why they were designed. But that's what you'll want. I won't. You can be replaced, Chicky Baby. I don't care. And that pose is out too, Sonny Jim. The new thing is to care passionately and be right wing. Anyway, if you don't cooperate, you won't beat Susan. And who's this Susan when she's at home? Only Susan Campy, our resident teenager. You'll have to love her. She's your symbol. Oh, you mean that posh bird who gets everything wrong? I beg your pardon. Oh, yeah, the lads frequently sit down the television and watch her for a giggle. In fact, once we all sat down, wrote these letters saying how gear she was and all that rubbish. She's a trendsetter. It's her profession. She's a drag, a well-known drag. We turn the sound down on her and say rude things. Get him out of here. Have I said something you missed? Get him out. He's knocking the programmed image. Sorry about the shirt. Get him out! You don't think he's a new phenomenon, do you? You mean an early clue to the new direction? Where's the calendar? Oh, no, 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 no. It's all right. He's just a troublemaker. The change isn't due for three weeks yet. All the same, make a note not to extend Susan's contract. And let's not take any unnecessary chances. Hmm? Naturally, let's be natural.